In this video, I'm going to be doing a demo and teardown of the Sony VAIO Jog Dial Remote. Released in late 2001, this USB remote is similar to the Jog Dial on VAIO laptops, which gives you quick access to key features in Sony applications. It stands out in music playback with the headphone jack, the screen for song information, and the playback controls. There are two versions, the JR1 and the JRH1. They're both the same remote, but the JRH1 came bundled with some VAIO branded headphones. It's similar to the Toshiba iShell remote, which you can see here, which was released for libretto laptops around the same time. The Sony version does seem a little less powerful. I have a separate video showing off the iShuttle. Now I'd like to make a quick mention of the Flip Animator, an animation creation tool that was released shortly after the GR1 itself, but I was unable to locate it. It was said to let you create your own custom animations that show up on the jog dial standby window. So now let's take a closer look at the controller. On the back, we have a belt clip, USB cable, clickable jog dial, a back navigation button, a shift button to show an alternate menu, headphone jack. So again, here's a side-by-side -side with that Toshiba iShell remote. I have another video on this. So I actually have two of these. I swapped the parts in between them to get one really nice working unit. You can see this is a JRH1, which had come with headphones originally. So let's take this one apart. We have two screws on the back underneath plastic covers. Missing one of my covers. Now it's being held together by a bunch of plastic clips. So now we have two clips holding the circuit board in. We have to be careful for the screen ribbon cable. We release the clips holding the LCD on, sliding parallel to the board. Of our buttons here that popped out. So now two screws on the screen in place. So some close-ups, the lower left is where the USB cable would be connected. So to start out, here's the jog dial built into this file C1. You can use the wheel to navigate the menus. And now let's plug in the jog dial remote. And you can see the remote is now controlling the app, just like the dial built into the laptop. I just wanted to show here that in the Windows control panel under sound options, I've set it back to the built-in speakers. Otherwise, it would default to the remote headphone jack. You can see it's detected here as some Philips USB speakers. Let's navigate a bit with the jog dial. We can push it up, down, use the back button, and push it in to click. Launching the window switcher. No other apps right now to switch between. The folder browser. We can open and navigate in our window start menu.
the power panel, which lets us change different power plans and battery modes. Under VIO settings, we can launch some hardware setup tools, but we can also control some things directly. Change our screen brightness. Also our system volume. We have a dedicated wallpaper changer app. It does look kind of cool. We have an animated jog dial lock screen. phone dialer, under BIOS software we have all of our bundled Sony applications, you know, a lot of these have different customized menus that make use of the jog dial. Visual flow, an animated GUI that lets you browse different media files. Let's check out some music players. That's how people are probably mostly using this, starting with Windows Media Player. See, by default, we have our play, pause, next track, previous track. Holding the shift button gives us volume up, down, mute controls. Let's check out Sonic Stage, Sony's own music player. Now we have similar audio and track controls, but it also plays different random animations while the song is playing. So let's check out the next one. It seems to pick one per launch and then use it throughout. and the final animation. So next we have Winamp, a popular MP3 player back in the day. This isn't natively supported, but I found a third party plugin that makes it work. Taking a quick look at the Jog Dial app, you can click it to change the different UI styles. Let's take a look at the settings for the Jog Dial. We have all the apps and folders that appear in the list. We 
can add our own apps or delete ones. Power programmable keys, these are special hardware buttons, app launchers. Under advanced settings, we can control things like the scroll direction. I reversed mine because it felt backwards. Script settings. Our scroll and click sound effects. And some more advanced settings. But that's it. Thanks for watching.